and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity the sea and the waves roaring men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth for the powers of heaven shall be shaken Watch ye therefore, and pray always, that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass, and to stand before the Son of Man. Black hole sun, won't you come? Wash away the rain, black hole sun, won't you come? Whole new meaning on that song lyric, Black Hole Sun. Scientists at NASA have given us some amazing images. And they've discovered there's actually an enormous dark hole over our sun. Corey Powell's at our large Discover magazine here to look at these images. Nice to see you, Corey. Yeah. What is this? Uh, weather map on the sun. You'll notice uh, part of the sun is missing. So this is, this is a picture of the sun in, in ultraviolet rays. What you're seeing is this is three and a half million degree plasma erupting from the surface of the sun. This part that's missing, the reason it's dark, is that whole chunk of the sun basically ripped off, blew out, and is coming our way at about two million miles an hour. Our way. Our way. <laughs> That doesn't sound good. Well, the, I mean, this kind of thing happens all the time, but you don't very often see something that big. So I, I'm going to go all Carl Sagan on you here for a second. So this is, this is about 80 times as wide as the Earth. If you're looking at the Earth on this scale, it's okay. about that large. So this is an incredible chunk of the sun that's flying out. Um, what happens when it, when it hits our planet, it causes auroras, it wiggles the magnetic field. The, most, the thing you really worry about is it can disrupt your GPS, it can mess with your communication satellites, it can mess uh -huh, with your power uh -huh. lines. Is that like a solar flare? Or? So, yeah, so, this is, so, this is, so these hot spots are where things are, it's where the, the things are really in, kind of intense and bubbling. This is where it's basically reached the point where it just kind of completely blew off. You're actually not seeing the hot gas here because it's no longer on the sun. Did, did we, it's coming into our did face. Did we ever know this before? Or, or did we not... Take note of it. Well, we know, it's really very recent that we've even been able to see these things, and so we kind of knew. You know, there, there's this constant low-level thing. You know, it, a few million dollars a year damages more or less uh, just our solar satellites, power lines, things. We knew that the sun was was messing with us, and we didn't exactly know mm. why. Now you see why. And the real worry is this is actually, a, believe it or not, this is a small one. This is a minor wow. one. Wow. Um, can you tell us what this means then? So what, what this means is this is what the sun does all the time, and we don't really know why it does it. Um, there's, a, there's an 11-year cycle of solar activity, and right now we're going into a time of peak activity. And that's when all those th things I was talking about before, you know, we, we really need to watch for your power lines, yeah. your satellites, for all that. But you um, just said something there. You said it happens all the time. If it happens all the time, is there a real risk to us? Well, or are we just noticing now? Well, so, the, so, there, so there's, there's two parts. I mean, there's, there's the stuff like this. Like I said, this is actually not even a particularly bad one. So this is what happens all the time that we weren't really noticing, that See. now we're starting okay. to understand and forecast. But there are also there are much more intense ones. Uh, there was a giant solar flare in 1962, right before we really had a whole lot of satellites, an even bigger one in oh, 1859. Wow. And if something like that happened again, that could, yeah. that, can you, actually, that could cause a global blackout. You always talk about you know, solar flares as the biggest danger uh, on a large scale. So we will see. Corey, thank you. Yeah. Excellent explanation. Oh, well, thank you. And uh, we'll call you Carl Sagan next time, OK? <laughs> cool? Yeah. Millions and millions of Earths would fit in this picture. Yeah, nice. There you go. Thank you, yes. Corey. All right, James. Are you serious? The sun is turning dark. The sun is becoming dark. It's in the Bible. What? It's in the Bible. Open your go, 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 get it, get your Bible. Go to Acts chapter two. It was prophesied on the day of Pentecost when the Holy Ghost was coming upon those hundred and twenty that were gathered together in one mind and one cord in the upper room in Jerusalem. 
Here's what's going on. Scientists are saying spacecraft sees a giant hole. They call it a giant hole in the sun. Well, here's what it does. Let me show you a picture. That is a picture that a, the spacecraft took of the sun. Do you see that gigantic darkness? Darkness, huge. Well, get this. The space telescope aimed at the sun has spotted a gigantic hole. It's not a hole. You don't have a hole in the sun. You have darkness. The sun is turning to darkness in a certain spot in the sun. Huge! Now the space telescope aimed at the sun has spotted this gigantic hole in the solar atmosphere. This dark spot that covers nearly a quarter of the sun, 20, a fourth of the sun has turned to darkness. Now, it's spewing out solar material and gases into space. This so-called corneal hole over the sun's north pole came into view between July 13th and the 18th and was observed by the Solar and uh, Helospheric Observatory. NASA released this video of the sun hole, they call it, um, showing a region as a vast dark spot surrounded by solar activity. Well, let me tell you what the Bible says in Acts chapter 2 and, and on the day of Pentecost, verse 16, Acts 2, 16. But this is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel, and it shall come to pass in the last days, saith God, that I will pour out my Spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams, and on my servants and on my handmaidens I will pour out in those days of my spirit, and they shall prophesy. And I will show wonders in the heaven above, and signs on the earth beneath, blood and fire and vapor of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness, and the moon into blood, before the great and notable day of the Lord come. And, who, and it shall come to pass, I love this next verse, that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Wow, that is exactly the time we're living in. Now get this, we got the comment Ison coming on November 29th, be the brightest star in the sky. It'd be the brightest star in the sky since the star of Bethlehem. It will be so bright that you'll probably see it during the daytime. It'll be brighter than the moon. Not as big as the moon, but brighter. What? And as that star comes, the last time we had a star this bright was the star of Bethlehem telling us that a king had come. Is this star telling us that a king is coming again? Also, there will be dust that will be it's called comet dust. It will hang up 50 miles from the Earth's surface, illuminating the clouds for 40 days. That's what NASA's telling us. Are you serious? Then we're going into a blood moon. Four blood moons over Jerusalem. And while this is all going on, they're talking, the peace talk started today. The peace talk started today on this July the 30th. 2013. And oh, by the way, also today, there was an earthquake in Mexico. You say, so what? There's earthquakes everywhere. Yeah, 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 but wait. In Palestina, Mexico. Palestine. The very day they sat down to talk, an earthquake, not far from Washington, D.C., Mexico, hits a little town called Palestina, Mexico. 5.4 and the sun one fourth of the sun has become dark how long that will stay I don't know because the solar activity can move around upon the sun but you've got to say something biblical is going on with the signs of the second coming of Christ are you going to get saved but here's the good news. You got all these signs, but here's the best verse of all. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.